Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ree's Kitchen. Today we're making an absolute winter classic, that being a celeriac and potato daffemoire. Many of you might not know what a celeriac is, but I hope to convert you today. There's not many ingredients, but let's get straight into it, shall we? So first up, we have the star, the celeriac, and we have some waxy potatoes, cream and milk, thyme, garlic, nutmeg, salt, Gruyere cheese, a little bit of butter and some pepper. So this is a celeriac. Now, I have to admit, growing up, I don't think I've ever seen one, uh, but in Europe, they're very common. They're a root vegetable. They're a member of the celery family. It smells a bit like celery. And so I'm just going to cut through the top here today and show you what it's like on the inside. As you can see, it's quite tough. It's almost like an apple on the inside. And we use all of that white fabulous fruit. It will oxidise, so you might just keep it down what you're not going to use. But I'm only going to use this half today. So to prepare our uh, celeriac, I'm just going to chop the greens off. Now all of this is fabulous in a stock if you wanted to keep it or in your compost. And then I'm going to take off most of that knobbly bit there. To make it easier, just a handle. And now I'm just going to slice off the skin. So our next step is to slice up our celeriac and our peeled potatoes. Now I'm going to use a mandolin. This way I get an even cut all the way through. Of course you can use a knife. When you're using a mandolin, lots of people are a bit scared about mandolins. It's just really important to use the guard. Um, I'd never use it without a guard. And I've got it on just slices in medium, number two. So first up. And we do exactly the same with our potatoes. So you can see that these are about four or five millimetres thick and nice and even, much easier than doing it with a knife. Now the next step is I'm going to pop our, our potatoes and celeriac into this posh. And to that, I'm going to pour over our milk and cream. Now I know that the vegetables are not going to be fully covered, but that's not a problem. I'm also going to pop in our garlic and I'm going to grate in at least half of this knob of nutmeg. So a reasonable amount of nutmeg. So I'm just going to pop my induction on. I'm going to start it on seven. I want to bring that to a simmer and then give it a stir to make sure nothing's stuck at the bottom and pop the lid on and then let this all simmer for about five minutes and just par cook a celeriac and potato. So that's just come to a simmer. I'm just giving it a little bit of a stir, dropping some of that nutmeg into the milk a bit more and making sure that nothing's stuck at the bottom, which it isn't. Turning it around. So now I'm just gonna pop the lid on and I really just want that to steam. If it starts to bubble too much, I'll drop it down to a six, but I just want that to steam for five minutes. All right. Whoops, I think I've bubbled over a fraction. Turn that off. All right, so just while that's cooling just a little bit, I'm just gonna prep our gratin dish. Now I'm using this square baker today. It's 20 centimetres square and about close to 10 centimetres deep, which is a perfect fit for here. It doesn't matter what shape you use, you just want one with some reasonably high sides. And I'm just going to grease it with a little bit of that butter just on a bit of kitchen towel. So now to put it all together. So using a slotted spoon at this point, I'm just going to take some of our celeriac and potato 
and I'm just going to make an even layer on the bottom. And for each layer, I'm just going to season with a little bit of salt and some black pepper. And now we're going to continue with the rest of the vegetables, making even layers, giving them a bit of a press down as we go. So now our lovely creamy, milky liquid here, I'm just going to strip my thyme into it. And now that the uh, thyme is infused into the milk, I'm just going to carefully pour this over our vegetables. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a shake and a press down just to make sure that it's there's no air pockets in there and then cover with our grated gruyere. And now we pop our dish into the oven, 160 degrees Celsius, fan forced for 45 minutes and the cheese will go bubbly and brown and it'll just be divine. My kitchen is smelling amazing. It's that melted Gruyere and the slight nuttiness of the celeriac that I can smell. Look at that. Bubbling goodness. Now, this needs to sit for a good 15 to 20 minutes. That way it'll solidify, we'll be able to cut it and pull it out of the plate. And you also <laughs> won't burn your mouth on it. Doesn't that just look and smell amazing? As always, the hard part's in the waiting. This just smells so divine. For all the details of today's recipe, don't forget to check out my blog at the link below. But as always, the best bits in the eating. Mm. This is such a sophisticated dish. The celeriac is subtle, a little bit nutty. It's creamy, it's rich. This goes perfectly with a crisp salad for lunch or as an accompaniment with a roast for a bigger meal. It is just divine, and I hope you all enjoy it as much as we do. Until next time, everybody, ciao.